Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just uh, wanted to get on here real quick, do a little review on a product that I got uh, not too long ago off of Amazon. Um, just wanted to get on here, just do a review on it, just kind of let you guys know um, my thoughts on it and how it's been helping me just with my driving experience. Um, it's called West Odds uh, Wireless CarPlay Stereo pretty much. Um, as you can see, this, this is it right here. Um, it's really cool. I um, just kind of want to give you guys just a couple cool features just in case you're thinking about getting one for y'all's car. Um, as you can see, I kind of got an old school 2006 Mercedes. So I don't really have like a backup camera. A lot of too many gadgets, pretty basic uh, for the most part. Um, but just wanted to go ahead and get this so I can make my driving experience a little bit easier um, in terms of uh, having my maps um, pull up in terms of uh, just uh, doing my music as well too so I don't have to be just looking at my phone while I'm driving and get distracted just to make it a little bit safer on the road for me. Uh, but yeah, just gonna kind of go through just a couple things that it kind of comes with, um, just to give y'all an idea. Um, and I would definitely recommend it because you know, it definitely helps my driving experience so I'm not having to go all over the place when I'm trying to search for where I want to go, what music I want to do, or if I want to get to certain apps, I can just kind of keep my phone um, on the side and not really have to focus on it. But yeah, so, um I already kind of set it up and everything but if we kind of look at it just give me one second this is kind of how the box looks and everything hd car dvr and everything this right here i haven't set this up yet but this is the backup camera um it has a uh, you know a bunch of wires you have to do uh there's a couple of youtube tutorials that you can do to set it up and everything but this is kind of like the outlook of it it's specifically where the camera part of it is you can kind of see the the camera part and all the wires you kind of have to drill it in the back of your car through the trunk and everything but definitely a really cool feature i want to set up eventually but just not necessary for me right now so i haven't set it up just yet and then you also got um one second so you also got this right here you can actually put it on the um the windshield um if you wanted to and kind of connect it through that um i just kind of wanted to keep it right here just to make it simple for me um just so uh, uh i could see it right in front of me to, so i don't have to have it all the way on my windshield but you know it's kind of preference but definitely it's still a really cool feature got a couple other things in here for the backup camera as you can attach to it as well too as y'all can see um but really cool um but now kind of going with uh the actual screen and everything it's pretty pretty lengthy it's about a 10 inch screen um really nice as well too as you can see uh, i'm gonna just go to the home button real quick it actually touch screen as well too so as you can see, this is where the CarPlay, so they have Apple CarPlay and they have Android as well too. I have an iPhone, so of course, if any of you guys have a Samsung, you can definitely go ahead and you know do the Android Auto. And also it does have a dash cam as well too, where it can record. So if you click on the DVR, um, if I move it up just a little bit, you can kind of see, this is the front of my apartment. So when I'm driving or whatever case may be, I can kind of have that going, just in case I wanna you know, catch some things on the road or just in case you know you get into an accident um whatever case may be so you can have proof of that go back to the home screen all right and then also you got playback as well too that's just kind of a uh you can kind of record and you can play back certain videos certain things that you record as well too and then you have your fm transmitter so this is actually how i connect my music uh to make sure that i can play my spotify apple music or whatever i've downloaded as well too so i have it connected as you can see 89.1 on my stereo and then 89.1 on 89.1 on here as well too so just makes it a little bit more simple um so you don't have to do a bunch of searching around and everything and then here goes a little bit of settings like your brightness you can turn it up and down of course the fm i'm going back to that and then that's just the back button for the settings button and everything like that Let's see anything else yeah and then on the settings you got a bunch of cool things you can kind of see like your format factory reset um uh, you got your resolution as well too, the microphone for the cameras and everything, different languages, the date and time that you can place for. So a lot of really cool features. Like if you wanted to come adjust a couple of things, right? So today is the 16th, you know, I got everything on there for you. So you don't got to worry about that. Um, but yeah, a lot of really cool features uh, that you can kind of cycle through. Um, and then now going back to the actual car play, this is uh, of course my favorite part. So I got like all my playlists, um, playlist from my Apple Music that I downloaded from my computer, put on my phone, so you can kind of run with that. Uh, for the most part, I mainly use Spotify. Another really cool feature is that it can uh, do dual screen, so you can have your maps on the left and then your music on the right. And then this is, uh, of course, my home address, work, you can have everything just like set up on your phone. It looks like the exact same, so that's really cool. And I put it on dark mode 
course, y'all can put on light mode if y'all want to. I'm more of a dark mode person, but you know, it's pretty cool on that. And if you go out here, this is where all your apps are. So you got your phone if you want to call somebody. Um, of course, you got the Siri option as well too. Um, so you can do a I'm Siri to tell uh, whatever you want to do, whether it's play a specific song, text a specific person. So you don't even have to use your phone to text. It's like the same exact thing, but you can just do it while you're driving. So that's really cool. Um, I mainly use uh, mainly apps I use is just Spotify. I listen to a lot of music, and then Apple Music, and then if I want to send a message to somebody, but I don't feel like using my phone for it, you can kind of do that as well too. And yeah, and then you get your smart screen right here. Just takes you back to the original place, and just in case you want to make any settings uh, changes and everything. But man, this has actually been a very beneficial use for me specifically um, because I used to always have to just use my phone and um to make a message or you know be looking at the maps while i'm trying to do the music there was a whole whole lot of things that are gonna be distracted um but i just wanted something just a little bit easier uh just to kind of get me going on the road tell you your battery life as well too and then it connects through bluetooth as well too so that makes it even you know even more simple so you don't have to do a, uh plug in a bunch of wires and everything and how it kind of works is like you just need your cigarette uh port uh lighter thing um, most cars have this. They either have it in here or I have another one in the back over here. So if I wanted to use it over here, I could do that. Um, but yeah, you just plug it in, uh, plug it in, it turns on, and then you're pretty much good to go. So I'll kind of show y'all how, how it starts up. So boom. Yep, comes with the HD card, DVR. Pops up for you. It takes a little bit just to get going, but it, it does it pretty quickly. Um, while you go out in the morning Makes that little announcement voice to let you know that they're going and everything And then if you just click it's always gonna come with the dash cam very at the very first So you can kind of adjust it around and then boom you're kind of right back to original page And yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Like I really enjoy it. Um, it only costs like a little it's like a uh, Like just a little bit over a hundred dollars in total. Um, I'll put the link in the description uh, So y'all can go I got it off of Amazon um uh yeah got off of amazon and everything so really cool um, really cool features and everything like that but if you're looking to improve your driving experience you got one of those older cars that doesn't have a backup camera doesn't have the apple carplay doesn't have a screen or anything like that hey man you're looking at one of the best uh options best opportunities to kind of keep that driving experience um keep you safe on the road jam out to your music it gets pretty loud too like it's it's a very loud it's not like one of those that's just like you buy it and then the music quality is low or anything no it's super loud uh in my car um even when i was using i have this uh fm transmitter right here that i used to use just for my music and everything like that and it's actually equally as loud on the screen you get all the other options as well too so really really cool man um you know i really enjoy it uh definitely want to get this backup camera set up to make my driving experience even better because i have a backup camera because how it works is like once you set it up you just go to the DVR and then now you'll be able to like uh, reverse screen, just like how you can reverse on your iPhone. Um, like if I wanted to switch the screen and show my face, right? Um, you can do the same thing. So it's like uh, pretty much you'll just reverse it and then you'll be able to see what's behind you um, and everything. So that makes it really cool, but gives you the time and everything. And yeah, I mean, it's super, super cool. Uh, I got no complaints on it, but yeah, y'all definitely go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in my description. Uh, for you guys to go ahead and um, go ahead and get that and y'all just let me know what y'all's experience with it Or if you guys have any more questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to you know Get back to y'all as fast as possible. But yeah, that's my review on the HD car DVR and everything Y'all got any more questions want any more information on it? Y'all just let me know and uh, and I got y'all but I'm signing out. This is trap rap unreleased um, Y'all check in for more videos uh, for different um slowed and reverb music or just uh music that's coming out from different artists um yeah this is my review of the of my car play helping my car experience and hopefully y'all can go ahead and get that too and improve y'all's car experience as well too but i'm signing off but um y'all go ahead y'all have a good one and i'm out peace